The derivation of the quadratic formula. Hello and welcome to Maths Whenever. In this video, we are going to look at the derivation of the quadratic formula from the quadratic equation. Before we do this, our knowledge of fractions, indices, thirds, and general algebra skills need to be good. The quadratic equation in general form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are known values and the solution of x is the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Don't be fooled into thinking this equation is easy to solve. What makes this equation tricky to solve is the fact that x appears twice with different powers. Because of this, we need to eliminate one of these terms containing an x. The key to doing this is with a process called completing the square. This will help us to factorise the equation, thus eliminating one of the x terms. Let's begin. The first thing we need to do is divide each term on both sides of the equation by a. We do this because we want the coefficient of x squared to be 1 before we complete the square, as this will make the factorisation easy. This gives us the following. ax squared divided by a plus bx divided by a plus c divided by a equals 0 divided by a, which simplifies to x squared plus bx divided by a plus c divided by a equals 0. We now isolate the coefficient of the x term to make it more plain to see. This gives us x squared plus b divided by a x plus c divided by a equals 0. We now subtract c divided by a from both sides of the equation to obtain x squared plus b divided by a x equals negative c divided by a. We are now ready for the next step which is called completing the square. The reason why we do this is to make the left hand side of the equation easy to factorise. To complete the square we take half the coefficient of x and square it. We then add this new term to both sides of the equation. Since the coefficient of x is b divided by a, half of b divided by a equals b divided by 2a and the square of b divided by 2a is b divided by 2a all squared. So we now have x squared plus b divided by a x plus open bracket b divided by 2a close bracket squared equals minus c divided by a plus open bracket b divided by 2a close bracket squared. At first it seems that completing the square has made the original equation look more complicated. Why go through all this trouble? Remember that the aim of completing the square was to make the left hand side of the equation easy to factorise. Factorising the left hand side of the equation, we now have open bracket x plus b divided by 2a close bracket squared equals minus c divided by a plus open bracket b divided by 2a close bracket squared. Now the left hand side has only one instance of x, making solving for x much simpler using only the usual rules of algebra. First, let's expand the bracket on the right hand side so the right hand side now becomes minus c divided by a plus b squared divided by 4a squared. Now swap the order of the two terms on the right hand side. Doing this gives us b squared divided by 4a squared minus c divided by a. Next we subtract the two fractions on the right hand side but first we need them both to have a common denominator of 4a squared. We do this by multiplying the numerator c and the denominator a of the second fraction by 4a. The right hand side now becomes b squared divided by 4a squared minus 4ac divided by 4a squared. Now we can subtract the two fractional terms on the right hand side giving us b squared minus 4ac all divided by 4a squared. We now take the square root of both sides. This gives us x plus b divided by 2a equals plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 4a squared. 
using the third law. The square root of a quotient equals the quotient of the square roots. The right hand side becomes plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by the square root of 4a squared. Simplifying the denominator on the right hand side, the square root of 4a squared is 2a. Now we subtract b divided by 2a from both sides of the equation. Now, x equals minus b divided by 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Finally, adding and subtracting the two fractions on the right hand side, we get the quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And there we have it, the quadratic formula derived from the quadratic equation in general form. Thanks for watching Maths Whenever. See you next time. Bye!